Wanna say hi? Look. Say hi. What's up? You whistle? It's a pretty bird. It's a pretty bird. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Good boy. Kids always come first. Hey, I'll go get it. Hold on, there's a bee. Bird nerds, how are we doing today? We're, uh, just got done feeding the birds. It's a little, uh, a little warm in here today. I'm sweating a little bit, but we've got the AC going in here and trying to keep things cool. We're, we're getting towards the end of summer, so things are cooling down a little bit. Um, we've got another heat spell that's probably gonna be hitting us this week, and then uh, afterwards, we're hoping for things to kind of die down and settle down a little bit, temperature-wise. So we're, uh, like I said, just got done feeding them. Playing with Mikey here a little bit, get, showing him some attention and some love today. Um, appreciate all the, the support, you guys, that, that you've given throughout uh, these last few videos that I've posted. Um, thank you to those who subscribed. Thank you for those who dropping comments who liked the video. I will be, so this video is going to be coming out on Wednesday. And on Friday, I will be selecting several of the people that, that dropped comments below that subscribed. We'll be kicking some merch out your way. So same thing for this video, guys. Like it, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below that you did so, and we'll be choosing some people to win, um, <clears throat> to, to win some bird merchandise. We've got shirts, we've got mugs, we've got all sorts of things. Okay, I'll come grab it. <laughs> We're also a father, guys, so birds are only just a hobby, not a job. Um, Kids always come first. Okay, I'll go get it. Hold on, there's a bee that flew in the house. So, um, close the door. So anyways, drop, drop some comments below and we'll, uh, we'll on Friday select several people to send some bird merch your way. We've got lots of different options. So it's gonna be great. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. We're gonna be talking about the Goldie and Finches coming right on up. All right guys, I'm back. Had to help the kiddos. A wasp flew in the house, so we had to take care of that. So <laughs> it's always a joy, guys. Okay, so um, just wanted to bring you guys a video on the Goldian finches. So I've got most all of my Goldian finches paired up. I do have some extra males. I'm trying to get a hold of some extra females to do that. So I'm just gonna walk you through what I do to set them up. Um, some tips and tricks to help them breed, to know if they are ready to breed. You know things like that so um so far let me just show you real quick I'm trying to think how how best we can do this here let's flip the camera around so i've got two pairs set up in the white cages so i've got one pair here and one pair here um there's the male females in the nest box she's actually already laying eggs we'll show you guys that here in a little bit and then i've got one pair set up in this breeding cage here. Uh, it's a yellow back and a red-headed male. Both of them are split to blue back, so I'm hoping. And it's with my really old male, so we may have a chance that he's not fertile, but... And then we've got another pair uh, set up in this cage here, so... And then I do have... So I've got an extra male there. He's just finishing up molting. He's got just a couple, three, four pin feathers left on his head, and then he'll be done molting. I've got an orange head male there that just finished molting. I've got another red head male up top there. He's, he's in the process of molting. A black head, white breasted male there, and then a, a red head, white breast female there who is finishing up her molt as well. So um, I have not set them up yet. I do have them. So one of the things, let's, let's just cover this right here. One of the tips that I have, if you've got multiple Goldian finches, I do try 
to let them pair up themselves. And usually once they, when they pair up themselves, you tend to have a little bit better of a breeding season just because they've chosen their own mates. Now that's not the only way I have selected some and I've actually, um, I'll show you a pair that I've selected together um, today and, and why I did that. But um, what I'm planning on doing, so she's still molting out. I've got a couple other males finishing their molts out. Probably by the end, mid, probably middle of next month, maybe towards the end, they'll be done with their molt and starting to come into breeding condition. Some of my males are already in breeding condition. Some of them will be coming in about the same time as this female. It's okay if they're about a month off. They'll, they'll, they'll still sync up as far as the breeding season goes. But what I'm going to do, I plan on leaving her in here with these three extra males. And I've watched them. They're not over overpowering her. They're not being overbearing. Many times, different species of, of especially birds, the males become can become very aggressive and dominate the females. Thankfully, Goldie and Finches are pretty docile birds, pretty gentle. Um, <clears throat> we do have males courting her quite a bit, but they're not they're not being aggressive. They're not trying to peck at her or, or anything like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let her choose her mate, and there's a good chance. That, so this male that's down on the end, he's finishing up his, his molt. His head's full of pin feathers, but he is a redhead. Um, there's a good chance that she'll choose him as many times uh, the golden finches tend to sync up with, with mates of a similar head color. So blacks with blacks, red with red, orange with orange. That's not always the case, but um, many times that is the case. Redhead in the wild is dominant in color variation and also uh, in, in gender. So the redheads tend to dominate, the males and females tend to dominate uh, of, over the other color mutations. So many times you'll see a black-headed female accept a red-headed male um, naturally, um, but many times the, the blackheads will choose the black-headed males. So that's just one way that I, that I let them um, pair up themselves if I'm not trying to do specific color mutations. If I'm trying to do specific color breeds, then I will uh, select uh, the individual mates. So, so we've got her left. Um, she'll, she'll be, I'll be letting her choose her mate. In here, we've got a, a yellow back female who's actually blackhead, but the black comes out as white in the yellow mutations because the black is diluted. Um, so she is technically a black headed female, white breast, but both of both of the male and the female, they are split. There they are right there. They are split to blue back. And I did have them out here in this large aviary and she chose him naturally, which is great because I was going to pair these two up anyways, because I'd like to try and get some, some more blue back, uh, Goldium finches if we can. Um, so they did select each other naturally. So happy about that hopefully they will uh go ahead and, and breed for me we've got this pair up here so it's a, a red head we've got red so this is the wild type color so red head purple breast green back so that's the wild type mutation uh, i love actually the wild type mutations and i actually think the black headed um purple breast green back is the most beautiful in, in many ways so i, I just I tend to, to lean more towards the wild type colors. I do like variations and mutations. As you can see, I've got a lot of different mutations of birds, but um, I tend to usually go back to the wild type because I, I think they've got some, some beautiful natural colors. So they've been um, in this nest box quite a bit. I don't think she's laid yet, uh, but they, they are getting close in the process. The male is courting her. She is receptive. One way to see if, to know if they're receptive is the female will point her tail towards the male in the direction of the male while he is singing and courting her. That's one way of showing that, that she's accepted him. Another way is she will shake her tail up and down. She'll vibrate it up and down in a, in a rapid pace while he's courting her. And she may respond with shaking her head and dancing kind of in, a, in the same way the male does. If, if she's receptive. So any of those three ways are a good indication that the female has accepted the male as a partner and she is ready to breed. So um, just something good to, to look at there and have in mind if you are trying to set up your golden finches and you're not quite sure if they have accepted each other or not. 
So coming over here, so we do have, um, we've actually got two pairs set up here. So this pair here is, let it focus, focus, focus. So this is a black headed pair that I have. So the female is a black head, white breast, green back. The male is a black head, purple breast, green back. Look how beautiful he is. Oh, I just love it, guys. Look how white his beak is. He's got that pearly white beak. And I'm sorry that the lighting is not the greatest. Um, come on, focus. Um, if we come over here, I want you guys just to see how good looking this male is. He's a good looking bird. There we go. So he's got that nice pearly white beak. She's got that jet black beak. Both are signs that the males and females are ready to breed. So she actually, naturally, she paired up with this other black head that I have in the aviary. He's right there. And they were in here at the time. They, she actually laid eggs and hatched and tossed the baby the day that it had hatched. Um, and I had them paired up last year and they tossed the babies as well. So I decided to split them up and give her a new mate with a more reliable male. I have bred him before and he's been a great father. So um, I'm hoping that she will accept him. She seems to tolerate him. I have seen him court her. They have been checking out the next box that I have in there. So I think these are good signs in hopes that she um, will accept him as a mate and um, that they'll, they'll breed and not toss their babies. So she did have some more fertile eggs and I actually pulled those eggs and threw them in here underneath my society finches. So they should be hatching really either today or tomorrow. So we'll keep an eye on them and, and make sure that the society finches will raise them for us. Then down here, we have a yellowback female. She's black head, but it, like I said, the black is diluted, so it comes out white and, she, and she's a white breast. And then the male is a black head dilute. So he's kind of a off color, which means he carries the yellow gene. So their babies, they will kick out yellow babies and dilutes and greenback babies. So we will get, we should get all three of those variations and mutations there with, with this pair. A beautiful pair. She has already laid an egg, so they've built their nest. And I set these guys up about a week and a half ago. So very recent is when I set them up. And um, look at that male. He's, he's beautiful. Look how white that beak is. So um, she has already laid an egg in the nest and because they are ready to breed that's it has she has done it so quickly you can see her egg right there she's got a nice neat nest they built their own nest which is great those are all good signs that they are ready to breed and then down here we have another red-headed pair and she is paired up with a white-breasted male and the male is possibly split to blue and she's just a normal greenback. So, so we'll just get normal wild type babies out of them. They, there may be a possibility that they are split to blackhead. Um, so they could potentially kick out some blackheaded babies, but I'm just expecting all red faced, white or purple breast, um, greenback babies and the white breast mutation it's a recessive so all of their babies will be split to white breast um, but they will all show visually purple breast so um, see her checking out the nest box in there uh, so she's been pretty receptive to the male she's been checking out the nest box let's take a peek in here looks like she's been uh, getting it ready so She's got the nest box pretty close to ready, so we should be expecting eggs here within this week, actually. So, um, all good things, guys. I love Goldie and Finches. They are my favorite bird in the whole world. <laughs> favorite finch, really. Um, I do have a favorite parrot, but favorite finch in the whole world. They're, they're just, they're beautiful. They're, they have an interesting song. You can mix and match the colors. I'm gonna drop a link below, and it's Goldian Finch Genetics, and it's a program that someone's created, I, I believe in Europe, 
Um, and, and you can put in any mutation of your Goldian Finch and, and put the pairs together and, and it'll tell you what to expect as, um, as their babies hatch and come out. So she's already wanting to get back in her nest. So I'll drop that link below. And if you guys have Goldian Finches, go ahead and, and put your colors in there and then you can see what, you, what to expect as, as your Goldian Finches breed and what, what colors the baby should be. So it's a really cool link, guys. Please go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video. Um, let's help grow our, our Birdner family together. Drop all of that in the comments and I'm gonna be choosing someone this week, actually several people, choosing several people this week to send some bird nerd swag to. Um, and, and I'll let you guys know in Friday's video. So uh, reach out, drop those comments below in hopes that we can uh, continue to, to help grow our family here. So appreciate you guys. Hope your birds are doing well and we will see you next time.